Yo, what's good? It's K Felon for K Felon Beats. I'm a cover rappers.net, peep the industry.com. Back at you with another tutorial. Um, and this one, I'm gonna just show y'all how to make a like a Jalil beat, a Meek Mill type beat, or whatever. Um, I already pretty much made the beat, so in this one, what we pretty much gonna do is we're gonna just basically put like a little pre mix on it just to clear it up a little bit, make it sound better, so then we can, you know get really into it how you would do with your beats or whatever so what i'm gonna let y'all do is hear what it sounds like right quick and then we go on get into the nitty-gritty of things um this first pattern i'm using nexus it's a a kit a homie um made shout out to my man two crazy beats uh let y'all hear this right quick Into major simple pattern. Um, this one I'm using a pad and another kit that he has. Try hear this right quick. Okay, so if you look at the the velocity right here I got you know pretty much all three of these notes um, leveled out at different levels so that you can hear them I don't know if I got these one pan like, yeah I got these pan so I got the the high notes pan to the left or the right and I got the bottom note in the middle cuz that's the that's basically the bass so I want that in both speakers and then I got the the mid note to the other side pan so that way it's a full a full sound and I also got it um it's the same pattern with the brass I got the same thing going on pretty much so just listen to this with the brass or whatnot because it's two patterns so let me just let y'all hear what the second one sound like it's just an added note to it that's all no that's pretty simple um add the snares in there and whatnot the kicks and claps and shit. It's a simple pattern, very, very simple, simple. Um, I'm gonna let y'all hear what this 808 sounds like right quick. Um, I pretty much got it riding with the kick a little bit, but I don't have it um, hitting every time the kick does. I let the 808 breathe a little bit, let the kick get one in, so you can hear that. Simple, simple, simple. I can add this. This is a little bell. That I got my bells. Um, let's see what I did with the bells, right quick. Um, I got this bell here as the first note bell, and then I do this to accentuate with the the uh, the bell and the melody. So let y'all hear that. So I got that playing. Cause if 
I'm not mistaken, I think at that part, that is where this note hits. Actually, it's so D. So, I could move it up to D, but I like it at A, because it's still within the melody. Just accentuates it a little bit. Um, also, on the bell, I, with these notes right here, I turn the volume down just a little bit. So they're not too loud, not piercing the ears or whatnot, not overriding the sound with the other bell. Um, got these hi-hats and this little open hat. Another open hat. Got this little box. Um, a noise for the beginning of it. Just chant. And then my little fat. And that's pretty much the sounds that I have in there. Let's listen to it real quick. right now um i'm gonna turn this off right quick oh no it's not off i don't know why fl studio 12 does this it put like ghost notes in between it i don't know how to get rid of that shit if anybody knows that um uses fl studio 12 if you know how to get rid of that shit please tell me but um i just got like a little for the hats right here these parts like a little triplet set to make them sound faster or whatever triplet the note whatnot just got that going through just to add like a little bit of effect when the when the beat drops or whatnot so right now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clear this beat up because it sounds a little muddy it's a little muddy to my ear so i know it sounds muddy to y'all um yeah this shit i don't know what the fuck i'm with that all right so we're gonna start with the main melody Open the EQ two. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a high pass on. Yeah, it's a high pass. We're gonna put a high pass on band one because all this extra frequency down here we don't need this. So. So we're just gonna scroll this down, get rid of all of that. Now as you can hear, that shit already clears up. It gets rid of all of that extra muddiness, extra frequencies you don't need. Just gonna get rid of this, get rid of that. And one, two. So if you can hear, like, this is pretty much the pierce of the bell, the high, high end, 115, uh, about 100,000 hertz. So, right there, I could bring that down, maybe a decibel or two, one and a half, tighten that up a little bit. Because within the mix, also, if I was a, I could put a compressor on this and bring up the high end. So the high end, you can hear it, but it's, it's still peaked off and it's still taking away that decibel. So basically with the, the compressor, you add that decibel, but 
it, it, when you add that decibel, it basically would be at the, the main level. So you could add two, but it would it won't let it peak too much where it's too loud and piercing, if that makes sense to you at all. That's what I like right there. Open this up some. Scroll up. Adjusting the bandwidth. I kind of like that right there. And let me see what four I got going on. I'm going to bring this down some. Open up the bandwidth a little bit. Now I can let that breathe. Now, you know, it sounds like it, it, it got breathing room now. It's not too high. You can hear it. You can, you know, it got a good feel on the ears. Nothing is too loud. It's just right, sitting right there. So, we're good with that one. Now, I want to mess with these right here. Let me get this one first. We're going to do the same thing, put a high pass on band one. We're going to scroll this back because if you can see, the pad really starts around in this area right here, that 140 range. So it's still got that little bit of feel to it, but you're getting that low end out of there. So this is where your kicks and your, your 808 is going to sit at. So you don't want that, that frequency interfering. Okay. Now also, it's not a lot of, with this sound, we don't want this extra air. So we're going to put a low pass on band 7. Scroll this down till you got the four boxes. Bring this down some. Because we really need this. I'm really using this for a feel, not so much to hear it. It's, it's, it you would notice when it's not there, but it's not in the way, basically. I don't need band six. So this is the heart of it right here. So to clear this up, I'll take away maybe two, two decibels, tighten that up a little bit. And with band five, I'll catch this air right here. Take it up maybe three and a half and give it some air and bring band four up maybe one tighten it a little bit i'm gonna let that sit then i'm gonna bring in this brass all right so we'll put the high pass on this one as well scroll it down Bring it back to that same range we was at with the pad. If we can get, oh, we can actually give this about 125, 120-ish, add that low end. Now, with this, I really don't want a lot of that high end as well. So I'm going to bring this down the same way I did that one. Bring this, bring band six down some, take some of that high out, tighten that band up. And I'm gonna bring band three up about two and a half. And maybe bring five up just a smidge. Maybe one, one and a half ish. Get rid of four. I just want a little depth to it. Cause see bringing band three up, I could even bring it up to about three decibels. It just adds that 
little bit of low end grunginess. That's why I added that sound. Do the same thing with this one. We'll bring this down a little bit. Same thing with this one. But what I'm going to do here is with this one, with this brass, I'm going to add this high end because I actually like the high end. So I want that for that little bit of high grunginess with the other brass so i'm gonna let y'all hear this in a second so i'm gonna add some of this real quick get at about three decibels maybe bring this up about two and a half and three Give this about maybe one, one and a half. I give it one. Tighten it up. Get rid of four. Bring this in just a little bit. Now, Let me bring this one back in. Now it just. full sound to it if you can hear that it sounds better to me i don't know how it sounds to you guys if you agree with me leave a comment below all right now we're just going to do the snares snares is pretty simple i don't know why the fuck I got the same fucking snare oh i did that shit hold on This one down, do the same thing here. Bring it to basically where the snare is hidden, which is right here. That's the, this is pretty much the thickness of the snare, that 400 hertz range. So, tighten this up a little bit. Put a nice tight band on it. Get a little bit of that to it. If I open that bandwidth up so bring band seven down a little bit so the output is not so high. Around band six, I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit. Bring this down some. Maybe give it a little bit in the middle, a little bit of mid, one and a half, tighten that up. Now it's not so loud. Now we can add these claps. Okay. I'm going to focus on pattern two right quick while we mix the rest of this. This low end and this clap, like you can see these like this extra frequency, like right here in this area. You probably won't like until you, unless you train your ears enough to be able to hear the difference, you won't know that it's you know extra frequencies down here you don't need. And you hear a lot of beats like that that be muddy, and the, and the muddiness come from you know not getting rid of these. So 
that's that's the main thing I want to show you because a lot of producers' beats be muddy, and it's because they're not getting rid of unwanted, unnecessary frequencies in their instruments to clear that space up for the instruments that's in that frequency range. I mean, so we're gonna get back into it. Take this shit out. You see how much clearer that sounds as opposed to this? And take this out. Boom, boom. We'll bring this down here. Bring this down some. I'll put one out. Can do the same thing pretty much to this as we did to the snare. Tighten this up a little bit. Not too much on this one. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. One and a half, maybe. Tighten it up a little bit. Now we're going to get to the fun stuff. So if you listen to this kick, it's, it's more punchy than it is air in it. So I'm going to basically do what the, the drum is telling me to do. I cut some of this frequency out. This is where it's priming at. And I'm gonna get rid of this frequency right here because I don't need it. This is a punchy kick. Deep bandwidth on this. Get this frequency right here. Sounds pretty good. We're gonna fuck with this one. Now, as you can hear, this one doesn't have as much punch as the other one, but it has that high end that I do want to keep, but not too much of it. Just a little bit of punch to this kid. Now, if you listen to this kick, and this kick, bring the air back into it a little bit. They, you know, they basically are similar kicks. So, I actually don't know how to copy and paste the, um, like this shit 
to this one so if y'all know how to do that um yeah y'all can show me how to do that somebody drop a comment below anyway i'm just gonna basically go back and make this one again all right So now I got the, I got my kicks pretty much EQ'd how I want them, just to clear them up a little bit, give them, give them breath. Now with these two, since they're similar, I'm going to pan them just slightly, maybe 20, pan this one, 20 as well, and then have this one in the middle for the air, and now let's listen to it. Now you can feel that fullness in the speakers just to just slightly just to add a you know a little effect to it. Now what I'm gonna bring up is I'm gonna bring where you at, where you at, where you at? No. Oh man, what the fuck? This nigga right here. Here you go. Wave shaper. And I'm gonna bring this up just to about here. Maybe no. Right here. Let me see where you at. So now, my kick is pretty much on par with my clap, but it's just slightly under, and it's just where I want it. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this one to give it that same effect in the stereo. The drums feel good. Now we're gonna bring in this 808. Let me mute you right quick. Um, mute these claps. So this is pretty much this 808 is pretty much in the frequency range of cutoff point it's in the same cutoff point as our kicks so I'm gonna cut this off at about 30 or 31 a little bit of a steep on this take this up to about two decibels I need this. I need that rumble. Now all this extra air right here, we don't need it. Didn't mean to hit the space bar. We don't need this extra air right here in this range from that 1K to 10K. We don't need none of that. So I'm gonna take all that out. Actually, pretty much from 200 on down, we don't need none of that. Now 
know, it's something I like to do with my 808s. Um, I don't know what made me do it. I just tried it one day and I liked the way it turned out. Sip my little drink. All right. Um, I like to put a nice little steep on this on band three. Put it to the four blocks. And I like to bring this bitch down. Tighten a little bit. Open it up some so I can hear where I want to do it at. And I bring it down some because it gives it like a, a, a darker. It takes this little bit of range out. So it gives it like a little bit of a darker tone to it. I'm, you can hear what it sounds like. I'm going I'm to play it regular. And then I'm going to take it out so you can hear it. I'm going to take it out. Just sounds a little bit darker to me. Find that nice little ring into it there. And then I take band four. frequency back up just for that kick at the end of the pattern I don't know to me I just like the way it sounds like that so that's why I do it like that that's just a little trick if you want to use it Okay, I got my 808 set slightly back. I created an envelope with the volume so I can be able to cut it, like how I have it drawn out like this. Um, if you've seen any of my previous tutorials, you've seen me do this with my 808s. I like doing this. Um, it just lets it, you know, control it. So, you know, you let go of the key to the 808 stop. It don't have that, you know, it don't have that lag. Like, if you was to. I'm saying don't have none of that so I just like it like that so I just want to bring this back slightly so that way the kick can get in and then the 808 can breathe out behind the kick Sounds good. Now everything else. Um, hi hats and things of that nature. All I really do with those is pretty much take these out right here. Take those frequency ranges out with the hats. Let me turn the kicks off and then we're going to play it. Um, Take this out of the bell as well. Take all of this as well. Computer starting to skip a little bit. Yeah, this Windows HP ain't, ain't cutting it for me, but. I still gotta bring you guys these tutorials, so make it do what it do, man. If y'all can rock through it, you know, it is what it is.
I love y'all, that's why I fucks with y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Alright, I'm gonna take all the air out of these things. All the air out of these things. Um, with this, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. I'm gonna bring in a, a delay bank. We got 145, so I'm gonna set the time at 8. I think it's what, 8 seconds, I guess, or 8 milliseconds I'm not sure what it says where I just put it on eight doesn't have nothing to describe it up there um put this on ping pong bring the separation up to about 65 and I bring the offset down at the middle about 15 King sit your ass down somewhere please son and I'm gonna send this Vox, I'm gonna send this to this channel. See what it sounds like. I'm gonna turn these hats and shit off. So they're not gonna frame the beat. I'm gonna hear this shit real quick. Okay, it's doing it just how I want it. Okay, y'all can hear the nice little echo fade with that. So as y'all can hear, man, my computer's starting to skip, so I can't really go in like I want to go in and show y'all how to do this so I hope y'all got enough out of this tutorial um I got a link below you can watch some more tutorials on my blog up and coming rappers.net you can click the link below in the description bar if you're watching this on my YouTube um click link below um to get with me on Facebook Instagram Twitter got all my links below my email address um email me if you want to book a consultation or anything for how to sell beats online um, and just be on the lookout for more tutorials. I do these all the time. I'm getting back into the flow of making my beats again. So I'm going to be hitting y'all with a lot of tutorials. So stay tuned. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to get up out of here. It's K-Felon, K-Felon Beats. I'm going to come to rappers.net, peepedindustry.com. I'm out of here, man. Deuces.